checking out this video, don't forget, like and subscribe. Okay, I did not watch Collision. Please tell me they at least announced on that show that for the first time in four months, there'll be a tag title defense. They did announce that a claim right. we're going to get. Because I remember this because they were doing a match, and the announcer spent the entire match arguing about whether acclaimed and FTR should have a match to become number one contenders. And I was fucking screaming at the TV that acclaimed is already the number one contenders. Nobody brought this up in all of this. It's like, why are we even talking about FTR? They won a title shot on TV. And so anyway, after that match, they announced, in fact, they're getting it on Wednesday. So that was a match. Yeah. All right, so yes, the first, uh, first tag team title defense in four months here in AEW. Young Bucks versus the Acclaimed. And uh, so Billy Gunn, who is being big and scary at ringside, is menacing the Bucks. He has caught with a chair in his hands and ejected. And without Grandpa Ass at ringside, the Acclaimed are just helpless. Helpless. And the Bucks get the heat. Nick grabs a sign, says, Dung Bucks, and tears it up. I'm not proud of this, but I did laugh. I did laugh. So Bowens gets hot tag number one. And is cut off in five seconds. And the acclaimed here is being absolute complete total geeks. We had a second commercial break in this match as well. Caster gets a hot tag. He gets cut off. They're teasing a third hot tag in this match. When Matt goes for a belt shot, FTR takes the belt away. Matt spits in Dax's face. Dax attacks. Dax attacks. It's a DQ. A Dax attack. A Dax attack. After all that, it is just a DQ. Yeah, that was a horrible finish. Mm -hmm. But I will say, as far and it's, as... If you're going to do a, that horrible finish, don't take 20 minutes to get there. It was about 18 minutes. Whatever. But I will say the match itself, mm -hmm. like, this was a good match. And I have not seen, like, a really good acclaimed match in a long time. Maybe all year. I haven't even seen the Bucks in a month. But, like, they took a month off or whatever and came back and had the best acclaimed match and I don't even know how long. They are a great, great tag team for those who have forgotten. So acclaimed and FTR got into a huge argument. They cut backstage with Chris Daniels. This was a segment where he said FTR and acclaimed on collision with the winners getting a title shot at Wembley. It's like, I just saw this last week in another tag feud. Uh -huh. Sounds very familiar. The whole program feels very much, let's get as many people onto the show as we can. Of course. Instead of, instead of let's book and build and promote the best match that we can. This is their WrestleMania. That's why they're trying to sell God only knows how many seats in Texas. We're all out Texas next year. That's right. Are all in Texas. Yeah. Then we have the Brian Danielson video package. It's so simple and it's so great. It's title versus career. They set this to Time of Your Life by Green Day, which is a goodbye song after all. They have clips of Ring of Honor, PWG, New Japan, backstage footage, meet and greets, some silliness, some seriousness, New Japan. I patched back then, I patched back now. All those great matches against some of the biggest stars in the world. Lots of handshakes, lots of streamers, and finally, at the very end, yes, Chance. This was a fitting potential retirement tribute to a guy who was, for a little while, the biggest wrestling star in the entire world. And this is where I asked, did they hire an entire new production crew this week? It yeah. Was, it was great. Then they played Machine Head. A great song. This was an incredible video package, and this show, I had some qualms about the main event match, but I will say that in general... This show did by far the best job yet oh, yeah. of building up Brian Danielson versus Swerve Strickland. They did an excellent job on this show. So then Danielson is suddenly just chilling at ringside. And maybe it took him like 10 seconds to get him off of the big screen. But we're just looking at him. The crowd's like cheering. We're not going crazy. And then they all start to cheer and Danielson starts laughing. That was funny. Wheeler Yuta versus Swerve Strickland. First of all, I want to note Swerve is also beloved here in Virginia. And he came out, and this is a very non-Dynamite segment, because they did not have a banger. He says, Swerve is our world champion. He is much higher on the totem pole than Wheeler Yuta. Swerve is main eventing a giant stadium show in 10 days. Swerve's going to beat his ass. And Swerve beat his ass. Well, that was my one qualm with the match, is he was beating his ass, and Brian Danielson's in the front row watching his protege getting his ass beat. And Hangman's beating his ass and beating his ass and beating his ass. And then Wheeler makes a comeback. And Wheeler's making a comeback. And he's countering holds. 
and he's going for submissions and he's hitting moves. I'm like, what the fuck are we doing right here? Just fucking kill Wheeler. It's fine. He can get a big win on Collision or another show. Just kill this guy. That's the story. You're killing him in front of Brian. But they gave him a big-ass comeback, and I could very much have done without that. This should have just been a slaughter. That's what this should have been. I actually wrote it was a slaughter. But it wasn't. There was a comeback. He got a near fall with the seatbelt. Uh, uh, a cradle. It's like he had a giant power move. He used leverage and technique to get him on the mat briefly. He had a dive. He did an ankle lock. Mm. He went for a seatbelt. And then he finally got head-butted. And then he was striking smir- Swerve right in the face and Swerve's laughing it off like a horror villain. Yes. I thought it was a slaughter. The finish was a slaughter for sure. He's house calling him to death over and over and over again. He hits the Brian Daniels and stomps and then just gets the mount and lays in ground and pound until the ref stops the match. TKO finish, which is awesome. And he won't stop punching him. Danielson hits the ring, swerve bails. I assure you, Brian, by the end of this, Wheeler was slaughtered. He was slaughtered by the end. Yeah. Yeah, so this was a uh, this was a good angle. Well, okay, yeah. The best part actually was afterwards. We didn't see it on television. Oh. The Brian Danielson promo, oh, where, I see where he yeah he was uh, most people didn't. He was very very angry about what he did to Yuta, and now now Swerve's got to die. Ah, and Swerve cut the uh, total heel promo here. Mm-hmm. And I've had people, you know, they keep insisting Swerve is in the heel. You guys don't understand. Dude, Swerve's total heel here. You don't understand wrestling, or you've never seen Swerve as an actual babyface. Total heel promo. He said he's going to show Brian and the rest of the world why he's the most dangerous man in AEW in front of 50,000. Bring your family, he says. Make sure your daughter's there so she can sit in the front row and watch me beat you into retirement. I'm going to force you to retire because that's what I'm going to do <laughs> when I cripple you. And the announcers point out that's the most horrible thing you can say to a guy in wrestling is you're going to cripple him. So... He's gone full on heel. Oh yeah, and uh, which is fine because Brian's full on babyface. But goddamn, we spent a lot of time with him as a heel when people wanted to cheer him, only to turn him babyface for six weeks and then turn him right back again. What can you do? Uh, he, the, the swerve, I love swerve. He's great, but the, everything with him peaked at the freeway with Hangman and Joe, and he should have won the title there and never looked back. And he didn't win the title there. Then he won it a month later, and it felt like. Uh, you know, anticlimactic, and uh, you know it's been it's been fine since then. It has not been great, but yes. Uh, as uh, Danielson is checking on Wheeler and Swerve does his promo, and then he leaves. So Danielson turns his back to check on Wheeler. Swerve zooms in, house calls Brian right in the head, then mocks the yes chance in slow motion. I think some people have never seen like Swerve as an actual like legit babyface. Remember when he was in Defy? Oh yeah, and he was like a full on babyface. Oh yes, and he was such a great fucking babyface mm-hmm. that when he like went to NXT and then went to AEW and they had him a heel, I was like, what in the fuck are you guys doing? Why? I like he's a good heel and everything like that, but he is the greatest babyface. That is not what he's doing right now. No, no, no. he is an evil bad man. Yeah. So, yeah, I thought that was an incredible go-home show, even though it's not the go-home show. Well, we'll see what they do in Cardiff. I'll see what they do in Wales. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notify button, and you'll never miss a video again.